stories around the world. The Pig's Day. The Pig's Day, by Carolina D'Angelo, illustrated by Francesca Asarelli. Sante got out of the car and ran to his friends. On this snowy morning, he went to the countryside with his family to respect an old, but very important tradition. You came too, Sante. Ruff. The dog barked, surprised. It's not fair. <laughs> Quacked the goose. Where is he now? Sante asked. He's over there waiting. Hee haw, hee haw! The donkey stammered. Not for long," smiled the cat, licking his whiskers. "Be quiet!" Ruff, barked the dog. Sante shook his head in disapproval. He felt so bad for his poor friend, the pig. He really wanted to break the old tradition. What can we do? Sante asked the dog. There's not much we can do, sighed the dog. Oh yes, there is. We can wait for the leftovers, winked the cat. Stop it! Shouted the dog, chasing the cat up the tree. We can hide him in the well. Hee haw! The donkey brayed. He'll drown, you dunce of a donkey! <laughs> Woofed the dog. What about the pond? The goose proposed. You silly goose! Haven't you seen how big he's gotten? Everybody will see him. Snapped the dog. With all of the speaking, barking, quacking, braying, and meowing, nobody heard the pigsty door gently opening. Uh, am I big? Oinked the pig. It's not my fault. I promise. Sante's granny fed me a lot of sweet acorns. Hmm, they were so good. The pig snorted. <laughs> you will be so good once you are turned into sausages. <laughs> Meowed the cat. Sante was thinking of a way to save the pig's life. Just then, he saw the vet riding on his scooter. So, he stopped him and said, "Hi, Doctor Vet. Do you know how to save a pig's life? By letting it live, of course." Answered the vet. But I think it's too late. Sante mumbled. I see. Well, we must keep traditions alive. The vet said. Unless. Unless what? Sante echoed. Unless the pig got a disease. Said the vet. That is a brilliant idea, Sante thought. He listened carefully as the vet told him about all of the different diseases that pigs could catch. 
Then Sante thanked him and ran back to his friends. He had finally found the perfect solution. He called to the pig's animal friends. Goose, bring some oleander leaves. Get two buckets of water, donkey. Dog, I need some animal medicine. And you, cursed cat, stay put in your tree and don't come down. In a moment's time, the animals came back to Sante with the ingredients. Hee-haw! Sante mixed everything together until he got a blue soup. Then Sante called the pig and told him to drink all of the very blue soup. <laughs> all of it? cried the pig. Yes, do as he says. Roof, roof. The dog scolded. Psst, you might experience some minor pangs at first. Hey-haw, whispered the donkey. But then you will be okay, <laughs> quacked the goose. When the grown-ups got to the pigsty, they were shocked. The pig was blue. His snout was blue. His tail was blue. His ears were blue. His legs were blue. The pig was blue. Very blue. Sunday! They all screamed. Go call the vet, quick! Sante rushed to the vet. All of his friends followed. Hee-haw! Except for the cat. The cat stayed up in his tree, laughing at the very blue pig. When he heard the news, the vet jumped quickly onto his scooter. He got to the pigsty in a very short time. Blue ear disease. Confirmed the vet. A dangerous disease for both animals and human beings. We must break the tradition. The adults shouted. No sausages this year. They all yelled. Dr. Vet, whispered Sante into the vet's ear. Do you think he'll make it? Of course, the vet said. Give the pig a dozen boiled apples and it'll get better in a month. Sante was relieved and happy. He had broken the old and important but unkind tradition. As Sante ran to his friends to celebrate his victory, the grown-ups asked the vet about the payment for his visit. The vet said, I'm not interested in money, but rather in your beautiful cat. My daughter saw it one day. Now she thinks she cannot live without it.